Welcome to Personology Podcast. In this episode, one want to focus more on the common traits of people being born at certain time, and specifically the parts that can be viewed as weaknesses of the personality, all of which is based on personology theory by Gary Goldschneider. Since for some people it may be harder to see their weaknesses and even their own strengths since it is not always easy to see it ourselves objectively as emotions in our environment has influenced our personality development. We could be left in dark for a long time. But personality posits when we are born play a significant role because we are all intertwined with natural cycles and celestial constellations and there is much more to the invisible world than we have tendency to admit. Therefore, personology is here to give us objectivity and accuracy as much as it is possible to be generic and accurate. How can it be that genetics, our environment, and choices are not the only major factors in our personality traits? The more we know about the nature of things that is above, around, or within us, the more we see all is intertwined and has a purpose with all its rhythms and cycles, and it is perhaps encoded in our DNA which only proves we are not random and each life has a value and that nothing is new under the sun, so we have to always seek a bigger picture or context or origin if we want to triumph over any stumbling block. So let personality be your guide, your means of bonding with others, or just a harmless fun moment of self-reflection. In this podcast, I will be summarizing only the weaknesses for the 48 weekly periods as a whole and for each individual day within the period. Therefore, I recommend to listen to the weekly summary and continue with the specific day. There is a lot more descriptions for each 48 periods in secret language of relationships and also in the birthday book, which you can either get by buying the books or search within a website address, personology.info. Also, I'm inviting you to read more on this subject of overcoming weaknesses with personology if you are interested in my new blog post at personology.substack.com. Personology recognizes four main elements in their personality characteristics. So let's start with Earth, the highly stable and resistant to change element. Earth does not like fire and mixes well with air and water, which is essential for all plant life. Earth sign people apprehend the world primarily through the sensation mode. People born under Earth signs such as Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn may display a patience as it is their true strength, but also may prove to be a weakness if it becomes an excuse for non-action. Air could be said to be the most amicable and necessary of the elements on Earth, mixing well with earth and water, and being essential for the existence of fire. Pe people born under air signs such as Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius are generally more passionate than sensual. Air sign people believe that touching is an intimate act, and find displays of claiming emotionality or sentimentality hard to handle. Air sign people apprehend the world primarily through the thought mode. Fire reacts explosively with the element air, and indeed in most cases cannot exist without it earth and water are anathematic to fire, as neither are capable of sustaining it and both capable of extinguishing it. Fire sign people, which are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius apprehend the world primarily through the intuition mode which may bring them a sixth sense, with a great degree of impulsivity and unpredictability and even accident-prone behavior. Water mixes well with two of the other elements, earth and air making good growing soil with the former and clouds or humidity with the latter, all of which are essential for life. Water is anathematic to the fourth element, fire. Water sign people which are Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces apprehend the world primarily through the feeling mode. Their sensitivity to criticism and rejection is very high. Generally, water sign people become very deeply involved in their love relationships, so much so that they often have difficulty detaching themselves. The three categories, called qualities or modalities of the astrological signs, are cardinal, fixed, and mutable. Cardinal signs exemplify the most pure and unadulterated characteristics of any element. Fixed qualities the most stubborn characteristics and the ones least subject to change. Mutable qualities the most flexible and adaptable ones. In any quarter of the zodiac, the three signs are always found in the same order. Cardinal, fixed, mutable. Dynamically, this suggests that cardinal signs institute, initiate, or set things up. Fixed signs establish or concentrate them. Mutable signs prepare to move on, to change to the next quadrant. Springtime personalities just as developing child sees the world as extension of themselves and may be at mercy of their own irrational or unconscious choices. Its apprehension of life is colored by intuitions and by powerful unconscious drives. 
Rebirth period of March 19th to 24th is a mix of Pisces and Aries as every cuss personality comprises conflicting elements. All self-critical processes are painful for them, but their success in life will be directly proportional to their ability to remain objective about what they do and who they are. They are misunderstood, impatient, and unrealistic. The advice is, learning patience is your most important task. Develop social skills through working alongside others. Try to curb your impetuous side, weigh alternatives, and consider consequences before speaking or acting. Get to know yourself better. Now specific Specifically with each day, we begin at March 19th as the day of dog persistence. People may have a tendency more than others to be self-unaware, stubborn, and closed. The advice is to get to know yourself better, examine your motives. Beware of having undue influence on the lives of others and maintain respect for them. Don't push so hard, cultivate modesty, and keep your egoism under control. Following rebirth period with March 20th, the day of the labyrinth. People may have a tendency more than others to be unrealistic and unsure. The advice is, your emotions can be destructive, keep calm, and in touch with your center direct your energies toward realistic goals. Observe your self-living. Following rebirth period with March 21st, the day of clarity, people may have a tendency more than others to be misunderstood, antisocial, and dictatorial. The advice is to not feel sorry for yourself. Self-pity is poison. Be more flexible in your dealings with others and learn to forgive and forget. Try to be a bit more accommodating and tactful. Make an effort to explain yourself better. Beware of undue pride and of arrogance. Following rebirth period with March 22nd, the day of direct current, people may have a tendency more than others to be overbearing, emotionally unaware and overconfident. The advice is to have patience with those who are not as well directed as you. Continue to move slowly but surely working hard, but also letting things just happen sometimes. Cultivate diplomacy and allow others in a bit more. Following rebirth period with March 23rd, the day of curiosity, people may have a tendency more than others to be over-involved and voyeuristic. The advice is to keep calm. Never treat people as specimens, no matter how interesting they are to study. Cultivate your sensuous side. Avoid being didactic and listen to others. Don't be so self-involved. Following rebirth period with March 24th, the day of beguiling simplicity, people may have a tendency more than others to be imprecise, depressive, and unrealistic. The advice is to keep your life balanced and beware of attracting trouble. Handle small matters with care and patience. There are in fact details that merit your concern. The child period of Aries 1, March 25th to April 2nd, people have extreme need for independence, affection, and sharing. They are naive, transgressive, over idealistic. The advice is to cultivate your quiet side, yet do not neglect your aggressive urges or let them get bottled up inside. When you feel frustrated, try to understand the problem and then take the initiative. Acknowledge your need for affection and support. Do not hesitate to ask for help when you need it. Now specifically with each day, we begin at March 25th as the day of dynamism. People may have a tendency more than others to be highly critical, blunt, and self-destructive. The advice is, at times you need to get a handle on yourself. Self-control and discipline are important. Learn to modulate, temper and soften, and to appreciate the value of silence and stillness. Don't overwhelm everyone. Is the outer world that important? Following child period with March 26th, the day of integrity, people may have a tendency more than others to be negative, insecure, depressive. The advice is to be careful of being overly moral and judgmental. Keep it light and learn to take yourself less seriously. Loosen up and have fun. Preserve your childlike qualities. Do not give in to bullying and push ahead in your work. Following child period with March 27th, the day of the originator, people may have a tendency more than others to be forgetful, self-neglectful, difficult to deal with. The advice is to cultivate diplomacy and learn to be more tolerant. Forget technique once in a while and let it all hang out. Be kind and understanding. Learn to compromise when absolutely necessary. You are not as strong and indestructible as you think you are. Following child period with March 28th, the day of innocence, people may have a tendency more than others to be unaware, flighty. The advice is to plan carefully and allow time for contemplation. Schedule frequent vacations where you turn the motor off and get to know yourself better. Still the mind. Empty. Don't be afraid to drop the facade. What are you afraid of? 
Stop doubting yourself, it is holding you back. Following child period with March 29th, the day of the observer, people may have a tendency more than others to be opinionated, unambitious, aloof. The advice is to not impose your belief systems on others, not everyone agrees with you. Beware of arousing antagonism. Push yourself more toward achievement. Work on those oddities of character that hold you back. Don't just revel in them. Following child period with March 30th, the day of uncompromising vision, people may have a tendency more than others to be stressed, isolated, rebellious. The advice is to calm down. Don't be so anxious to explain. Others may understand of themselves. Avoid conflicts and control your strident side. Learn to be diplomatic. Compromise in your dealings with others need not mean compromise of your vision. Don't neglect yourself. Following child period with March 31st, the day of tenacity, people may have a tendency more than others to be repressed, frustrated, argumentative. The advice is to use your good sense to advantage, but also trust your deepest instincts. Beware of your argumentative tendencies. Open yourself to love and to affection. Deal with your fear of rejection. Following child period with April 1st, the day of dignity, people may have a tendency more than others to be isolated, one-track, workaholic. The advice is to commune more with your fellow human beings. Don't insulate your personal life too much from the world. Share both joys and sorrows with loved ones. HAW are of taking on too much. Avoid putting yourself under time limits and pressures. Learn to relax. Following child period with April 2nd, the day of the idealist, people may have a tendency more than others to be naive, repressed, unaware. The advice is to force yourself to be realistic. Don't live in a dream world. Idealism is admirable, but it doesn't pay the bills. Listen to others, even when they voice negativity. Their criticism may be valuable if you give it thought. The star period of Aries 2, April 3rd to 10th people have have a great need for a sympathetic and perhaps insightful mate or close friend who can help them understand themselves and their role in life. They're aloof, irritable, excessive. The advice is to resist overwhelming people with your energy. Act responsibly. Try not to be too needy of attention and beware of leading others on. Confirm your inner values and develop hidden talents. Now specifically with each day, we begin at April 3rd as the day of the fulcrum. People may have a tendency more than others to be demanding, self-centered, naive. The advice is to not be so dependent on the approval of others nor possessed with serving them. Find your inner values, guard your spirit and develop hidden talents. Curb the desire to control those you live with. Learn to back off and just disappear sometimes. Following star period with April 4th, the day of initiative, people may have a tendency more than others to be impulsive, unstable, rebellious. The advice is to learn the value of contemplation and silence. Become a better team player and discover ways to share more with others. Try to hold back. Don't give everything away. Cultivate depth and sense mystery. Keep a handle on any violent, impulsive instincts. Following star period with April 5th, the day of consequence, people may have a tendency more than others to be repetitive, overindulgent, emotionally blocked. The advice is to learn when to give up and walk away. Quitting is not always such a bad idea. Try being more devoted to your mate, seeing things more often from their point of view. Don't take your good health for granted. Learn to talk about your problems as well as successes, sharing joys and sorrows. Following star period with April 6th, the day of the experimenter, people may have a tendency more than others to be one-track, manic, overwhelming. The advice is to remember your responsibilities. Beware of tunnel vision and keep your emotions on an even keel. Learn to let others discover, too. Do not disregard traditional values. Keep at least one foot on the ground. Throw the theory away when it doesn't fit. Following star period with April 7th, the day of enthusiastic belief, People may have a tendency more than others to be impatient, irritable, unrealistic. The advice is, not everyone is as enthusiastic as you are, so give people a chance to react naturally. Don't overwhelm them with your energy and expectations. Also beware of denying others their personal right to choose. Following star period with April 8th, the day of conscience, people may have a tendency more than others to be self-sacrificing, extreme, emotionally closed. The advice is to be as tolerant as you can and beware of condescension. Open up. Attend to your personal needs. Don't be too sacrificing and come to resent it later. Put aside time for reflection. 
Following star period with April 9th, the day of excess, people may have a tendency more than others to be misleading, overindulgent, destructive. The advice is, you must learn to compromise. Beware of selfishness. Giving and receiving love is important for everyone. Don't get stuck in the physical. Always reach for the stars, temper your wildest urges, and learn the lessons of balance. Following star period with April 10th, the day of daring, people may have a tendency more than others to be unstable, obsessive, stressed. The advice is to let up in your intensity and beware of your obsessive compulsive side. Enjoy the simple pleasures of life. Personal success is just as important as social success follow your heart sometimes, not always your head learn to nun off your motor and cool your heels. The Pioneer period of Aries 3, April 11th to 18th. Although they demand the best for others, they can lose sight of what it is that others really want. They're unrealistic, unyielding, self-sacrificing. The advice is to tune into what people are really saying. Beware of those who wish to monopolize your time and energy. Ideals and ideas can be worthy of devotion, but also destructive. Make sure that others want to be helped or led before you offer. Try to keep in touch with the actual state of things. Beware of being carried away by your own enthusiasm. Now specifically with each day, we begin at April 11th as the day of the policymakers. People may have a tendency more than others to be insensitive, resistant, unenthusiastic. The advice is to have an open mind. Don't take on too many responsibilities, keep your energy flowing. Use it or lose it. Be more sensitive to the personal needs of those closes. To you, control your temper and beware of family conflicts. Following pioneer period with April 12th, the day of societal awareness, people may have a tendency more than others to be over-involved, frustrated, self-unaware. The advice is to gain confidence at a deep level. Don't be too hungry for attention and appreciation, a mark of insecurity. Realize your limitations. Beware of putting yourself above the law. Following pioneer period with April 13th, the day of the iconoclast, people may have a tendency more than others to be misunderstood, alienated, rejected. The advice is to make an effort to get out socially. Don't get bottled up. Try to occasionally see the world through the eyes of others, give freely and learn to accept generosity as well. Sometimes your pride gets in the way. Following pioneer period with April 14th, the day of tradition, people may have a tendency more than others to be repressed, dissatisfied, autocratic. The advice is to not be afraid to take chances, dare to fail, dare to succeed. Tradition can sometimes be a collection of bad habits. Change is natural in the course of things. Everything passes sooner or later. Value honesty, not flattery. Following pioneer period with April 15th, the day of human definition, People may have a tendency more than others to be judgmental, self-involved, restricted. The advice is to learn to be more open and accepting. Watch children and learn from them. Irrationality is not always to be feared. Express yourself without fear of rejection or looking foolish. Have fun. Following pioneer period with April 16th, the day of cosmic comedy, people may have a tendency more than others to be out of touch, fiscally irresponsible, permissive, the advice is to remember who your friends are, don't neglect your family, try to keep your emotions on an even keel and beware of sentimentality. Don't be bound to the past, rather look to the future. Beware of those who would take advantage of your good nature. Following pioneer period with April 17th, the day of serious purpose, people may have a tendency more than others to be overly critical, judgmental, grim. The advice is to try to be less critical of others. Also beware of becoming too dependent on having their approval seek spiritual as well as physical activity. Lighten up. Remember to have fun set easy tasks for yourself as well as difficult ones. Following pioneer period with April 18th, the day of vigorous defense, people may have a tendency more than others to be unrealistic, pugnacious, emotionally unstable. The advice is to not be too defensive or eager to sort things out. Allow yourself to be more trusting and relaxed. Be as accepting of others as possible, and if they don't bother you, just let them be. Keep a lid on your anger. The power period of the Aries and Taurus Cups, April 19th to 24th, people may at times show a disturbing lack of emotional sensitivity. Cusps people should also be aware of an internal conflict due to two very different adjacent signs. They are blunt, mercenary, lazy. The advice is to try not to overpower others. Learn to back off and allow things to happen as they will. Although your hands may is to do the job, give others a chance to do it their way. Even if they make mistakes, try to remain sensitive to the feelings of those around you. 
Now specifically with each day, we begin at April 19th as the day of solid control. People may have a tendency more than others to be overbearing, repetitive, fixated. The advice is to not get caught. In a controlled trip, allow for spontaneity. Avoid getting stuck. Learn to listen and be open toward change. Latch onto that train before it pulls out. Let others make up their own minds. Back off sometimes. Following power period with April 20th, the day of worldly challenge, people may have a tendency more than others to be illusion prone, overly emotional, power fixated. The advice is to not go off the deep end, ground yourself. Try to be more accepting and less touch quiet confidence lessens your need to prove yourself. Following power period with April 21st, the day of professional commitment, people may have a tendency more than others to be profligate, self-indulgent, overprotective. The advice is to limit your involvement in the affairs of others. You can be overpowering at times. Let others help you occasionally. Giving can work as a controlling mechanism. Try to give unconditionally. Don't be so long-suffering. Know what you want and go for it. Following power period with April 22nd, the day of established presence, people may have a tendency more than others to be difficult, materialistic. The advice is to beware of a fascination with power. Serve God or what is best inside you. Seek spiritual guidance and follow your higher self. Remember your roots. Don't lose yourself in advancement. Keep your modesty intact and cultivate humility. Following power period with April 23rd, the day of adopted security, people may have a tendency more than others to be inflexible, anxious, repressed. The advice is to have more confidence in your ability to operate on your own. Beware of becoming fixed. Try to be more flexible. Lay your emotions out and follow your hunches balance your personal life. Don't be afraid to speak your mind, but be tactful and kind. Following power period with April 24th, the day of the protective chronicler, people may have a tendency more than others to be smothering, moody, narcissistic. The advice is to have some faith in those you love. Let the universe do a little for them. Don't feel you have to comment on everything. Leave some things unspoken. Develop your willpower and learn to say no to yourself. Retain your critical capacity to discriminate. The manifestation period of the Taurus Eye, April 25th to May 2nd, people may sink into an emotional slump when things are not going well. They are stubborn, smug, exaggerating. The advice is to beware of taking on too much responsibility. Consciously work on changing yourself periodically. Beware of procrastinating in the name of prudence or good sense. Open up your horizons by exposing yourself to different disciplines and points of view. Now specifically with each day, we begin at April 25th as the day of physical substance. People may have a tendency more than others to be unaccepting, unforgiving, overbearing. The advice is, sometimes you are just too much to handle. Respect the rights of others to disagree and go their own way bare with those who dream but do not accomplish as much as you. Don't be revengeful, it only hurts you in the end. Following manifestation period with April 26th, the day of the cultivator, People may have a tendency more than others to be isolated, fixed, stubborn. The advice is to learn to listen. Beware of being insensitive to the wishes of others. Sometimes one must admit defeat and walk away. Just dropping things can itself be a good idea. Avoid being tactless and blunt. Examine your prejudices and try to change. Following manifestation period with April 27th, the day of self-sufficiency, people may have a tendency more than others to be withdrawn over serious, repressed. The advice is to try to increase social contact. Beware of isolating yourself. Push yourself to improve spiritually and beware of imposing your values on others. Don't get stuck in a rut. Refuse to be unhappy for long. Following manifestation period with April 28th, the day of steadfastness, people may have a tendency more than others to be inflexible, domineering, and sensitive. The advice is to try to take yourself less seriously, cultivate a greater capacity to have fun and be lighthearted. Think very carefully about the effect your ideas and manner have on those around you. Above all, strive to recognize the feelings of others and remain sensitive to their needs. Following manifestation period with April 29th, the day of the heavy image, people may have a tendency more than others to be self-involved, vain, over-serious. The advice is to let go of your image from time to time. Get down in the sandbox, no matter what your age, and play with the rest of the kids. Pay more heed to your heart and less to the impression you are making. Be careful of how you exercise your power over others. Following manifestation period with April 30th, the day of dutiful overload, people may have a tendency more than others to be demanding, immoderate, 
self-indulgent. The advice is to try to listen as much as possible to your inner voice, ask for higher guidance before making decisions. Consider the advice of your colleagues and friends. Cultivate tolerance. Keep a handle on your desires and be more self-aware. Following manifestation period with May 1st the day of ironic insight, people may have a tendency more than others to be procrastinating, lethargic, blunt. The advice is, in love, try to be more realistic. In your lifestyle attempt to look ahead, once you have made your plans, don't forget to act on them. Take that necessary risk now and then in order to step up in life. Following manifestation period with May 2nd the day of human observation, people may have a tendency more than others to be intrusive, authoritarian, abrasive. The advice is to cultivate tact and diplomacy. Shed overbearing attitudes, particularly regarding children, don't be so thin-skinned. Relax and be happy. Embrace self-examination and change. The teacher period of the Taurus too. May 3rd to 10th people may be lonely and they may over time become too didactic and convinced of their own infallibility. They are demanding, critical, and flexible. The advice is to seek to be more affectionate and playful. Beware of strident, dogmatic, or inflexible attitudes. Remember that others have gifts to teach also, and that the best teacher is often an eternal student. Set a good example by admitting your mistakes. Rework and revise your ideas periodically. Now specifically with each day, we begin at May 3rd as the day of a social realist. People may have a tendency more than others to be demanding, procrastinating, hard-headed. The advice is to think as much about your own motivations as you do about those of others. Remember your friends. Put as much energy as is necessary into personal relationships. Do not hesitate to take action in love matters. Following the teacher period with May 4th the day of nurturing support, people may have a tendency more than others to be self-denying resentful, unfulfilled. The advice is to avoid being too self-sacrificing, pay more attention to your own needs. Have faith in the ability of your children or dependents to go it alone. Don't worry so much about your image to the world. Express what you feel. Remember that you won't get anywhere without daring to rail. Following the teacher period with May 5th, the day of practical awakening, people may have a tendency more than others to be dogmatic, insensitive, jealous. The advice is try leaving those around you alone for a while. Tend to your personal problem, then you will be more effective. Don't be afraid to admit your errors above all. Let people come to their own conclusions, even if it means watching them make mistakes. This is particularly relevant to parenting. Following the teacher period with May 6th, the day of materialized fantasy, people may have a tendency more than others to be emotionally unstable, suffering, indulgent. The advice is to keep a handle on your emotions. Wait to be asked for help, while at the same time not being afraid to ask for help yourself. Get your own house in order. Employ your perceptions wisely. Remain sensitive to the feelings of others. Following the teacher period with May 7th, the day of devotion, people may have a tendency more than others to be unrealistic, troubled, frustrated. The advice is to accept yourself as you are. Focus less on the past and attend to the next phase. Don't get carried away by your beliefs. Take rest periodically. Let up a bit in your demands. Following the teacher period with May 8th, the day of the outspoken spokesperson, people may have a tendency more than others to be over-serious, judgmental, authoritarian. The advice is to brighten up a bit. Learn to be more playful, even silly sometimes. Laugh with yourself, but without deprecation. Temper your sarcasm and come down off your throne. Occasionally admitting weakness and vulnerability is important. Following the teacher period with May 9th, the day of moral courage, people may have a tendency more than others to be unforgiving, puritanical, unrealistic. The advice is to do your best to control the temper. Remember that others have the right to be the way they are too. Let up a bit in the intensity of your judgments. This will make you and those around you much happier. Learn to be more forceful where you are too slack, less forceful where you are too rigid. Following the teacher period with May 10th, the day of loan movers, People may have a tendency more than others to be impulsive, self-absorbed, thoughtless. The advice is to try to think before you act and consider the consequences of your actions. Do not neglect the mundane tasks of life, nor your role in the group. Be more mindful of others and their needs. Remain open to sensible advice. The natural period of the Taurus 3, May 11th to 18th, people may have hidden conflicts and frustrations and with their buoyant personality, they may cover up their insecurities of which they are painfully aware. They are obsessive, rebellious, frustrated. 
The advice is to dig deeper and explore the depths of your personality. Try to take matters a bit more seriously if you wish others to do. The same in regard to you. On the other hand, never give up your natural and instinctive approach to life. Set your personal standards a bit higher and expect more of yourself. Now specifically with each day, we begin at May 11th as the day of the frequent flyer. People may have a tendency more than others to be unrealistic, out of F touch, isolated. The advice is, who could ever tell you what to do? Attempt to speak the language of others from time to time to gain credibility. Don't give all your fantasies away. Be selective in your plans and projects. Keep some measure of objective control over your imagination, if possible. Following the natural period with May 12th, the day of the mischievous maverick, people may have a tendency more than others to be overly critical, disturbing. The advice is to leave people to their own devices. Are you comfortable in the role of missionary? Try to sweeten your acid tongue on occasion and cultivate diplomacy. Remember to love both yourself and others. Following the natural period with May 13th, the day of natural appeal, people may have a tendency more than others to be superficial, erratic, depressed. The advice is, the decision is yours. Should you choose the more difficult path, you will have the joys, but also the responsibilities that accompany the developing of talents to the fullest. Do not be disturbed by those who criticize your sense of ease. On the other hand, do not be so easily self-satisfied. Following the natural period with May 14th, the day of the modern irrepressible, people may have a tendency more than others to be overstressed, nervous, difficult. The advice is to remember that moderation is the key to your success. Cultivate calm voice constructive criticism, but make clear your goodwill. Don't miss the forest for the trees. Following the natural period with May 15th, the day of the Dreamweavers, people may have a tendency more than others to be frustrated, isolated, passive. The advice is, when you are ready, your preparation's complete. Go for it. You are right to act responsibly and weigh social obligations, but be more active in furthering your cause. Never forget the bond between love and enlightenment. Learn to share and allow others into your private world. Following the natural period with May 16th, the day of outrageous flair, people may have a tendency more than others to be unaware, unstable, volatile. The advice is to find your own unique form of self-expression dash, communicate fully, but exercise self-control. Limiting your range of activities may actually extend your scope. Therefore, try to complete one project before going on to the next. Following the natural period with May 17th, the day of the bottom line, People may have a tendency more than others to be overstressed, abrasive, condemning. The advice is to loosen up, learn to laugh at yourself, and not take life so seriously. In attempting to control your environment, you may provoke negativity. Try to accept what comes along. Allow yourself rest and actively seek contentment and happiness. Following the natural period with May 18th, the day of established activism, people may have a tendency more than others to be unaccepting, self-denying driven. The advice is to take time off and get to know yourself better. Withdraw from the world periodically in order to recharge. Learn to heed your inner voice. Be guided rather than driven. Cultivate tolerance and acceptance of others, even if you can't suffer their ideas. The energy period of the Taurus, Gemini cusp, May 19th to 24th, people may lack a certain emotional sensitivity and not trust their intuitions enough and unsympathetic toward the feelings of others. They're garrulous, compulsive, hasty. The advice is to monitor the pace of your activities carefully. Seek to be more consistent and less casual in jettisoning people and ideas. Don't come on so strong. Turn off your mental motor from time to time. Confront your fears and insecurities. Now, specifically with each day, we begin at May 19th as the day of heartfelt persuasion. People may have a tendency more than others to be controlling, disruptive, frustrated. The advice is to sometimes leave others to their own devices. Don't be so controlling. Follow what is best in you and allow yourself freedom. When you feel your temperature rise, put some distance between yourself and what is bothering you. Try not to overreact. Let go of your attachments at least once in your life. Following energy period with May 20th, the day of prolific expression, people may have a tendency more than others to be over-talkative, undisciplined, unfulfilled. The advice is to observe yourself living. Meditate. Find your center and remain in touch with it. Turn off the motor. Limit yourself to the task at hand whenever possible and finish what is on your plate. Following energy period with May 20th, the day of unfailing vision, people may have a tendency more than others to be egoistic, 
and vulnerable, stressed. The advice is to keep a close watch on yourself, examine your motives, learn to accept the help of others and be vulnerable occasionally. Attend to small tasks as well as great projects remain polite and kind. Rest is important. Following energy period with May 22nd, the day of the serial epic, people may have a tendency more than others to be obsessive, compulsive, unrealistic. The advice is to work on emotional self-control. Learn the value of maintenance and don't overlook the details. Lessen demands on your partner. Examine your own faults. Don't take on too much and finish what you start. Following energy period with May 23rd, the day of energetic transmission. People may have a tendency more than others to be hasty, self-sacrificing, self-unaware. The advice is to take care of yourself a bit more. Try to keep your impulsive nature under control. Look to your serious side now and then. Don't be too eager to please. Following energy period with May 24th, the day of the magnifier. People may have a tendency more than others to be self-centered, caustic, closed. The advice is to slow down lest your frenetic pace and demands wear others out. Learn to control your tongue and be less judgmental. Be more faithful to your friends and your beliefs. Avoid making pronouncements from on high. The freedom period of the Gemini I, May 25th to June 2nd people will generally have to develop a means of dealing with their aggressions and may suffer greatly when there is little to do or when isolated from those who share their interests and concerns. They are tyrannical, manipulative, complaining. The advice is to work to finish what you start. Develop the patience to interact fully with others. Your ideals may have to be sacrificed at times for the sake of harmony. Avoid escapism in its manifold guises. Keep busy and happy, but do not neglect your inner emotional life. Now specifically with each day, we begin at May 25th as the day of the bold one. People may have a tendency more than others to be judgmental, intolerant, unrealistic. The advice is to work very hard on being less judgmental and more forgiving. Think things out carefully before setting out on your path. Avoid rash or angry decisions. Being cool is not always the coolest thing to be. Recognize the value of being vulnerable and emotionally open. Following freedom period with May 26th, the day of the stalwart protector, people may have a tendency more than others to be impulsive, guilt-ridden, escapist. The advice is to let up a little bit on your moral judgments. You will be easier on yourself as well. Happiness is not to be ignored or undervalued. Occasionally pour oil on the water instead of stirring up the pot. Learn to be wise and silent when harmlessly provoked. Following freedom period with May 27th, the day of driven dedication, People may have a tendency more than others to be tactless, lacking self-criticism, depressive. The advice is, even if you do not listen to the criticism of others, pay heed to your conscience and let your higher self guide you. Don't push yourself so hard. Take frequent vacations. Be aware of the reactions you elicit. Don't overlook your faults so easily. Following freedom period with May 28th, the day of the innovative trailblazer, people may have a tendency more than others to be egotistical, overreaching, impatient. The advice is to get your moral priorities straight. Don't be so easily discouraged. Tend to the maintenance of one thing before moving on to another. Find your area of expertise and keep innovating within it. Try not to be so secretive about your inner feelings. Loosen up a bit. Following freedom period with May 29th, the day of Quicksilver, people may have a tendency more than others to be repressed, one-track, combative. The advice is, don't be afraid to seek help. Share your problems with others. You don't have to be perfect. Learn to protect yourself against external danger. Take fewer risks. Control your chauvinism as far as your personal likes and dislikes are concerned. Following freedom period with May 30th, the day of nimble time, people may have a tendency more than others to be oversensitive, nervous, unstable. The advice is to keep your nose to the grindstone and avoid distractions. Operate deliberate and purposefully. Beware of idle schemes and frivolity. Following freedom period with May 31 th the day of the cutting edge, people may have a tendency more than others to be restless, extreme, escapist. The advice is to look your emotional problems squarely in the eye, much as you do when handling external concerns. Soften your hard edge if you can. Avoid arguments. They are just a waste of your energy. Find peace within yourself. Following freedom period with June 1st, the day of the popular eye, people may have a tendency more than others to be temperamental, distracted, impatient. The advice is to try to forget society's values for a while and what is expected of you. I leave the courage to be yourself at a deep level and like yourself for what you are. Discover your strengths and exercise them in spite of opposition. 
self-worth supersedes all else. Following freedom period with June 1st, the day of the problem solvers, people may have a tendency more than others to be picky, problem creating. The advice is, don't carry the world on your shoulders. Think of yourself more often and cultivate independence. Don't always involve in your plans. Try doing things alone sometimes. Actively seek happiness and contentment. Be guarded with your advice. The new language period of the Gemini 2, June 3rd to June 10th people are capable of biting wit, irony, and sarcasm. They fear of being inadequate, looking foolish, or somehow failing others. They are misinterpreted, flake, disorganized. The advice is to try not to come on in a rush. Be clear in what you say, but also diplomatic. Don't be inattentive to the impression you make or the idea others have of you. There is great value in silence. Take the time to develop deep friendships. Now specifically with each day, we begin at June 3rd as the day of fluent expression. People may have a tendency more than others to be domineering, forgetful. The advice is to beware of overconfidence. You can't talk your way out of every situation. Mind your hot temper and leave others to their own devices when possible. Words can hurt, show more understanding and compassion. Following new language period with June 4th, a day of critical expertise, people may have a tendency more than others to be demanding, O-V-R-C-R-I-T-I-C-L, stressed. The advice is to tune into your higher self. Seek guidance on your path. Don't be afraid to ask for help. It will be given. Accept yourself as you are. And likewise, be more loving and forgiving of others. Take frequent vacations from your work. Learn to do nothing sometimes and empty your mind. Following new language period with June 5th, the day of the brilliant path, people may have a tendency more than others to be anxious, chaotic, bewildered. The advice is, some form of mental training is essential for your success. Simplify your thoughts. Convey clearly what your intentions are. Slow down a bit and make sure everyone's still with you. Following new language period with June 6th, the day of the visionary, People may have a tendency more than others to be misunderstood, extremist, OFF base. The advice is to learn to share more with others. Be aware of the effect you have on those around you. Look to the little jobs of maintenance that must be done. Try to keep your feet on the ground. Following new language period with June 7th, the day of the entertainer, people may have a tendency more than others to be undependable, preoccupied, and sensitive. The advice is to beware of your seductive powers. You may lead others on and regret it later. Try to entertain yourself. Be more independent of your need for an audience. Study your subjects as thoroughly as possible and be just as serious about what you say. Following new language period with June 8th, the day of influential individualism, people may have a tendency more than others to be stressed, overzealous, error prone. The advice is to keep the moral and judgmental aspects of yourself under control. Consider carefully the standards you set for yourself and others. Loosen up a bit. Be satisfied with where you are, at least toward the moment. Don't let ambition dictate your life. Following new language period with June 9th, the day of mental insistence, people may have a tendency more than others to be emotionally immature, inconsistent, unintegrated. The advice is to try to make your strong areas the standard for your weaker points. Self-understanding and examination are crucial. Withdraw from life occasionally to think things over. Be more creative in expressing yourself. Following new language period with June 10th, the day of laughter and sadness, people may have a tendency more than others to be troubled, over-emotional, erratic. The advice is to clarify what is troubling you. Beware of escapism, whether it is into the world or out of it, and also of looking for your other half in someone else. Strive to integrate your actions and your fantasies. The The Seeker period of the Gemini 3, June 11th to June 18th, people are constantly on the move in their personal or business life from one to the next. They may blind themselves to a reality and have a clouded self-image and have undeniable tendency to please others through charm. They are emotionally volatile, disillusioned, impatient. The advice is, sometimes what is right in front of you is just as interesting as something risky or exotic. It may not be incumbent on you to influence the course of things. Allow yourself to express negativity when it is called for. Give yourself easy rewards, too. Now, specifically with each day, we begin at June 11th as the day of the limit pushers. People may have a tendency more than others to be stubborn, wearing. The advice is to be aware of the feelings of others. Try to be more sensitive to the wants and needs of your family and friends. Cultivate humility. Don't get so carried away with yourself. Your aggressiveness can attract powerful enemies. 
Following the seeker period with June 12th the day of buoyant optimism, people may have a tendency more than others to be self-unaware, judgmental. The advice is to recognize the shadow side of your personality. Running away won't help, nor will denial. Sit down and have a good talk with yourself. Don't project your internal struggle on others. Try to understand where they are coming from. Following the seeker period with June 13th the day of Faro FF adventure, people may have a tendency more than others to be danger-seeking, unrealistic, idolatrous. The advice is, of course you should follow your heart, but do look to protect yourself on your quest. Be aware of acting out on others. Remember that they may have their own problems to deal with. Keep your mind and house in order. Study what is possible and what is not at the present time. Following the seeker period with June 14th, the day of gutsy confrontation, people may have a tendency more than others to be overstressed, impatient, domineering. The advice is to learn moderation and get your balancing act together. Remember to return the attentions of those who care for you. Watch your ego, lest it get out of control. Allow your maid to experience life too. Back off occasionally. Following the seeker period with June 15th, the day of pleasant seduction, people may have a tendency more than others to be manipulative, too outgoing. The advice is to internalize your values and build a strong system based on them, one that doesn't depend on the reactions of others. Learn to be alone and to enjoy it. Have more confidence in yourself. Following the seeker period with June 16th, the day of capital investment, people may have a tendency more than others to be self-satisfied, indecisive. The advice is, don't get too comfortable, continue to take risks. Never lose your ability for change. Stay in touch with what's happening in the world. Keep your cash flu point nine, don't be too suspicious of new friends and acquaintances. Following the seeker period with June 17th, the day of artful force, people may have a tendency more than others to be unapproachable, indulgent, impatient. The advice is to try to leave others to try their own devices. You don't have to convince them all the time. Beware of being unscrupulous. Guard the truth, not illusion. Don't use others so readily for your purposes. Following the seeker period with June 18th, the day of financial security, people may have a tendency more than others to be manipulative, erratic, restless. The advice is to try to pull all the varied parts of your life together. Apply your strengths to each area. Work on eliminating or at least understanding your bad traits. Withdraw from life occasionally.